The financial market is often perceived as an arena dominated by charts, numbers, and cold logic. But if you look closer, you'll realize that the real driving forces are far more emotional. Fear and greed, two powerful and often conflicting emotions, have an immense influence on investor behavior. It's fascinating, and at the same time, daunting, how these forces shape financial decisions. Have you ever stopped to consider how many times your investment choices were driven by the fear of loss or the temptation of quick gains? If fear has ever led you to sell stocks too early, or greed has enticed you into a deal that seemed too good to be true, you're certainly not alone. In this guide, we will explore how fear and greed impact your financial decisions and, more importantly, how controlling them can pave the way for more rational decisions and better outcomes. Let's embark on a journey to understand the psychology behind our financial choices and to take control of these emotional forces. Topic 1. The Role of Fear in the Financial Market Fear is a fundamentally human emotion, and in the financial market, it manifests in ways that may initially seem irrational. Imagine an investor who follows the financial news and hears that the market is on the verge of collapse. Desperate to protect his capital, he decides to sell all his stocks even though the companies he invested in are stable and fundamentally sound. Shortly afterward, the market recovers, and he finds himself in a tough position. He sold at a low point, missing out on any potential rebound. This story is more common than it appears. The fear of losing money drives people to make hasty decisions, believing that the worst is yet to come. The problem is that in the financial market, fear often creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. When investors panic and start selling in mass, prices indeed begin to fall. It's natural to feel fear. After all, losing money is painful. But if there's anything we can learn from market history, it's that downturns are normal, cycles are inevitable, and panic is rarely a wise advisor. Fear, while a valid reaction, needs to be managed. As in many areas of life, the key lies in acknowledging this emotion without letting it dictate your every action. Topic 2. How Fear Leads to Irrational Financial Decisions Let's delve a little deeper into the impact of fear. Picture an investor who decides to enter the market just when everything seems to be at its peak. He buys stocks, watches the prices rise, and feels a mix of excitement and apprehension. However, when the first signs of a downturn appear, he panics. Even if the decline is slight and temporary, fear starts to take hold. Memories of past crises, such as the dot-com bubble or the 2008 crash, lead him to make a drastic decision to sell everything to minimize losses. This decision often becomes part of a destructive cycle, buying high, selling low. Fear not only prevents the investor from acting strategically, but also pushes him into a spiral of irrational decisions that steer him away from his financial goals. The key to overcoming fear is understanding its nature. The fear of losing money runs deep, but the best way to combat it is with preparation and knowledge. Successful investors know that market downturns are temporary and that patience usually rewards those who can resist the urge to panic. A solid investment plan based on long-term goals is one of the most effective tools for reducing the impact of fear on your financial decisions. Topic 3. Greed and its role in the pursuit of quick profits. If fear makes us sell too early, greed is that seductive voice that convinces us we can keep winning indefinitely. Imagine an investor who, after a quick success with a stock that skyrockets, begins to believe he's found the formula for success. He ignores all warning signs. The company might be overvalued, the market might be saturated, and continues investing more, convinced that the profits won't end. Greed makes us forget basic principles, like diversification and risk assessment. It blinds us to reality and drives us to make reckless decisions. But the financial market has an unforgiving way of correcting excesses. The investor who ignores risk signals soon faces the truth. The market is volatile and unpredictable. And when greed is unchecked, losses can be devastating. To avoid falling into the greed trap, it's essential to cultivate a long-term mindset. Quick profits may be tempting, but sustainable growth is what truly builds wealth. By recognizing when greed is starting to control your actions, you can protect yourself from impulsive decisions that could compromise your financial future. Topic 4. The Emotional Cycle of the Financial Market The financial market is, in a way, an emotional roller coaster. 
The cycle starts with optimism and euphoria when everything seems to be going well, and investors believe that profits will keep growing. But at some point, the tide turns, and confidence shifts to fear. Pessimism grows, leading many to sell their assets at a loss. This emotional cycle repeats itself continuously, and many investors get caught in it. A classic example of this cycle is the 2008 housing bubble. During the market's peak, investors were euphoric, buying properties at inflated prices, convinced values would only rise. When the crisis hit, panic took over, and many lost fortunes because they failed to recognize the signs that the market was on the brink of collapse. The secret to surviving these emotional swings is to stay calm and have a clear strategy. Investors who can navigate these cycles without succumbing to euphoria or despair typically emerge victorious in the long run. Emotional balance is the key to making rational decisions, even when the market is at its most volatile. Topic 5. Strategies to Overcome Fear and Greed in Investments Controlling emotions is one of the greatest challenges any investor faces. But fortunately, there are strategies to overcome fear and greed. One of the most effective ways is through financial planning. When you have a well-defined plan with clear goals and a long-term vision, it's easier to avoid making rash decisions based on short-term emotions. Additionally, automating part of your investment decisions can be an excellent way to reduce emotional impact. Automatic contributions to your investment account, for example, help maintain discipline regardless of market conditions. Accepting risk as a natural part of the process is also crucial. Investing involves uncertainty, and success doesn't come from avoiding risks but from managing them. By adopting a long-term approach, you'll be better prepared to handle market fluctuations and the emotions that accompany them. Conclusion Fear and greed are human emotions and inevitably part of any investor's journey. However, financial success depends on our ability to recognize and control these forces. It's not about eliminating fear or greed, but learning to use them constructively. In the end, investment success isn't just about numbers or financial strategies. It's about mastering your emotions, understanding the emotional cycle of the market, and acting with balance and rationality. As Warren Buffet once said, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient.